We want to talk a little bit about the World Chamber of Commerce. It assists companies reaching out to lucrative international markets. Our chamber provides educational and networking opportunities between businesses located in the U.S. as well as to those internationally. WCC builds international awareness for American and foreign businesses by fostering an economic, cultural, educational, and social and humanitarian exchange, as well as acting as a liaison between organizations seeking to develop international trade. This support is complimentary to WCC members and other companies looking to develop international trade. How sweet it is to be loved by you. How sweet it is to be loved by you. Right now, we'd like to bring forward Ambassador Reda Masur. He is the Dean of the Counselor Corps of Georgia and Consul General of Israel. I really want to thank you so much uh, for the last amazing two days, actually. We, we've been having, uh, I think, some of the best times uh, ever here and really feeling that uh, something new and, and very impressive is happening here. Uh, and and uh, I know that it's going to be uh, very successful and it's going to give leadership that uh, was needed and it's going to be giving people, uh, I think, the international address uh, that they felt always they needed uh, to have here in, in Atlanta. The December 26th of this year, the Honorary Consul General of Guatemala, the Honorable, Teresa Fraser will have served her country, our city, our region, and our country for 45 years. 45 years. And so we would just like tonight to acknowledge her incredible service to all of us tonight. The Honorary Consul General of Guatemala. It is uh, an honor to have served my country and all the time here in Georgia, in Atlanta. It's, uh, I have seen this consular corps go from when I first started five people, five consuls, to the amount that we are today, and I've lost count. But I know that it's over 65, I think, right? All right, at this moment, we'd like to bring up the one and only, a name you might recognize, Rhett Turner. Would you come forward? <laughs> I had the great honor in the last few years to be Commissioner of Economic Development for the state of Georgia. And I got to meet Rhett and his, his incredible other half, Angela, who is here tonight taking pictures of us. We're so excited to have her with us as well. And I got to know Rhett a little bit and learn a little bit about his business. And not only has he been an extraordinary humanitarian and ambassador for people around the world, but he's done some incredible work. We commissioned him to do some work for the state of Georgia. And he put together one of the most extraordinary videos about Atlanta and the state of Georgia that has ever and probably will ever be put together. So my personal thanks to you for helping to market this great state. Thank you so much. Rick. My, my partner over there, Greg Pope, we travel the state and I'm like, man, this state is awesome. <laughs> we live in a great place and I have to say it is continually getting better and better every day. So. Keep it going and, and really enjoy this place. Thank you. All right, now for a very special uh, recognition this evening, Ambassador Andrew Young. just need to say thank you. 
Thank you for those of us, for those of you, who see the world as one, who see not the problems and the famine and the difficulties and the tragedies, but see the potential of the human spirit everywhere on this planet. And that perhaps the connecting link is commerce. That um, it's going to be very hard for governments to ever co overcome 51%, sometimes 60% of public opinion to be concerned about anywhere else. But entrepreneurs, traders, investors, can usually spot something. Let's have a round of wonderful applause for our host tonight, Mark Hayes. What a wonderful job. Now, I'm just going to spend a minute closing us out here. Um, and I, as always, the ambassador, the diplomat, of course, as he commended the Consular Corps for its role in getting the Olympics. But you know there was one person responsible for bringing the Olympics to Atlanta and that was Ambassador Andrew Young. And without him, no Olympics. Thank you, Mr. Ambassador. But there's somebody else that I'd like to thank tonight, and I'd like you to join me in thanking. Someone who really founded this organization, created this organization two years ago, has served as our president, has worked tirelessly to bring together people on a daily basis with seminars, networking events, luncheons, dinners, festive occasions like we have tonight, and in a, just a small way of saying thank you. I'm not going to lift this because I'll drop it, but we have a bouquet here for you, Solange. Let's hear it for Solange Warner, who has done such a remarkable job. Solange Warner, we love you. I would like to thank all of you for being here tonight. I have uh, somebody that inspires me, which is my son, Costin, who is there. Please give him a round of applause. And my husband, Taylor, right behind him, and my daughter at home. But especially all of you have inspired me to found this uh, organization because I believe that we can unify the world but all nationalities becoming one. We are one humanity, and we should work together for progress and for happiness. So thank you so much. <laughs>